Yo, what is up guys and welcome to what is possibly the finale. You guys will know because it'll say it in the uh, title. However, it could be, it couldn't be. We do not know. Well, I don't know. So, we're going to see how fast we can get through all of this. This is a quick team recap. So we've got Cinderace, we've got Sylveon, we've got Barrascuter, Aegislash, Trevenant, and Vikavolt. So our team is looking pretty nice at the moment. Um, we're up around that level 65 mark, which is where I wanted to be. Um, a few Pokemon just below the level 60 mark at the moment. So we'll see how we go against the uh, gym trainers. Um, I'm ready. Let's do it. We'll see how we go against the gym leaders. Okay, who's going to be up first? I imagine Milo? Milo or Nessa? Probably goes without saying, but hello Gala, I'm your champion, not Leon. Alright, so he's stepping in. Awesome. Please just get me in the battle. I am so pumped and ready for this. It's so cool, man. They've come so far from back in the original Pokemon games. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this one. Feed, I think his name is. Okay. You want to verse me? Sure. Bring it. I I'm keen. I'm keen for this battle. Fairy types. Okay, this will be interesting. My will hasn't been broken yet. Yeah, I totally forgot about this uh, <laughs> This until uh, said, like, wait, and started to walk out. I was like, alright. So, gym leader. Feed. It, it would be cool to go back and, like, verse all of these guys again. Alright. Boom. Dynamax ban. Activate. We've got no choice but to win. Okay, have fun with that. Okay, Intimidate is not nice, um, but we'll still, we will still smash this. Pyro Ball. Bang. There goes Mobile. We've got four, uh, three more to go, I think. I think these, these trainers all have four Pokemon. Cinderace level 66. Gardevoir. Is there anything that we have that's super effective? I don't know. <laughs> I think Steel type or Poison type. Well, Poison type won't be super effective against it, but that's okay. Uh, we even have a Dark move on uh, Cinderace, but it just will not do anything. It's just effective. At least this one is Stab plus Blaze. It just wrecks shop. That's all it does. It just wrecks shop every single time. Cool. Okay, send out Rapidash. Go for it. Be my guest. That's right. It's Dynamax time. <laughs> Not that I think we really need to, but eh, we might as well. You know. It's better to Dynamax than to accidentally lose a Pokemon or something like that. So, you know, take that extra step. Save someone from uh, fainting and losing them forever. So that's good. Max Flare. Bang. Hit the Rapidash. The Rapidash is not going to survive. It's gone. Okay. It's quite hot out now. So now we'll be able to destroy anything else that comes into our path. Level 59 on Barrascuta. Uh, Hatterene. Okay, this will be the uh, Gigantamax one, I believe. Cool. And Max Flare. Okay. Dear Hatterene, uh, to uh, Gigantamax. I'm pretty sure when this happened for the first time, I didn't even know this thing could Gigantamax. 
It was either that or I just didn't realise that it was a Gigantamax because it doesn't seem that much different. But, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Can we take this thing down in one shot? I think it'll take two. Being realistic. Oof. That was close though. Max Mindstorm. Good psychic type attack. Woo! That did a bit. Cool. Alright, come on. Battlefield got weird, that's fine. Max Flare. Oh, the full restore, eh? Okay, if you want to waste one of your uh, Gigantamax turns on that, go for it. Which means they only have one more after this anyway. Okay, back down to normal size we go, but I think we should be fine. Uh, pyro Ball, I think this will hit first. Yep. Beautiful. All right, down it goes, and look at us. First one done. I think there's three more challenges to go, and then we'll be on to the champion. Let's do it. All righty, next up, who is it going to be? Jax versus Nessa. Okay. I should have known it was Nessa, and I should have switched out Cinderace from the front of the party. Okay, yes, we have grown since Holberry Stadium. And... We'll need to switch out pretty much straight away, unless uh, the first Pokemon that she sends out is not going to be too strong against uh, fire types. Or, sorry, I should be super effective against whatever they send out. Okay, Glissopod, I would at least be neutral against this thing. Glissopod hits hard though, so it, it is a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to go for it. So you might be uh, disappointed. Why might she be disappointed? What, if you win? I'm not going to let that happen. Boom. Okay. Emergency exit. Oh yeah, I forgot about emergency exit. Okay, about a scooter. Well, in that case, we're going to switch out. What do we want to do? Do we want to do Trevenant or Vicavolt? I feel like we should use Vicavolt. Give Vicavolt a bit of a chance to actually shine, because this will be the first time that we've ever used this thing in battle. Cool. Liquidation. Okay, Defense fell. Thunderbolt, Liquidation, please don't get a crit, that hurt, far out, Thunderbolt, if they had got a crit then I would have died, no doubt about it, okay that's that one down, okay, go to level 60, have to send out Seeking, yes I'll be switching because otherwise Vicavolt is going to go down very quickly. Okay, Trevenant. Go for it, bud. Sends out a Seeking. And we should be fine to destroy this thing in one turn. Uh, she still has quite a few Pokemon left, though. So, five Pokemon from Nessa. That's intense. Um, but, we make short work of them. Which means I think we, we could Gigantamax now, but Galissapod's going to come back out. Um, we should we should we should have healed up uh, Vicavolt, but that's okay. Um, in that case, uh, Drizzle, get that out of here. Um, I guess we use Woodhammer. Try and cause as much damage as we can with this. Should be able to one-shot it. Oh, it just held on, really? Okay, Tailwind. Not nice, but eh. We'll find um, Shadow Claw. Ow, oh, okay. Uh, let's see how much health it takes off with Shadow Claw, and then with, our, uh, with the remaining amount. Yeah, see, we, we can use another Shadow Claw, and then, ow, oh, Roost. Roosty, roosting on up. Okay, 
HP restored. That's what I, I should have used the uh, the horn leech or whatever it's called. Horn leech, come on, use it again. Yes. Okay, used roost. I'm happy about that because then we get more health back. Okay, please let this drizzle end soon as well. Pelipper goes down, and then I think we just have two Pokemon left, which is the Delisopod, and we also have the Gigantamax uh, Dreadnought, I think it is. So, that'll be good. Okay, Cinderace is almost level 67, that's fantastic. Um, I'm not going to switch Pokemon, but I will get to Gigantamax, or Dynamax now, with Trevenant, so that'll be good. Uh, Dynamax, Max Phantasm. Phantasmastic. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go. One, two, three, boom. Big tree boy. Here's a big one. And down goes Galisopod. Awesome. Level 67 for Cinderace. Rain stopped. It just keeps getting better. Now we just have to put up with Dreadnought, which uh, we will be quite effective against, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. What happened there? I have no idea. It just blacked out for a second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay. Well, we should be uh, super effective against this thing. Uh, what's this? 130, 140. So we're going to hit this with 140. Alright, flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Good luck. Dreadnought. Go. I do love Dreadnought. Dreadnought is probably one of my favourite Pokemon out of the new generation. It's cool. Good. Max Overgrowth. This thing doesn't stand a chance. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> oh, didn't even need to Gigantamax. We just destroy it anyway. Alright. That's number two down. I think we have one more or two more. Whatever it is, we'll catch you guys in a second. Cool. So I pretty much remember the order anyway, but I just saw the uh, infographic on screen, so I know that we're versing Alistair next. Which is why I'm keeping Cinderace up in front, because it knows a Dark-type move. I'm hoping that I'll be strong enough to be able to one-shot most, or if not everything. Um, I think the only concern that I'll have is the Gigantamax Gengar. Um, that will be a little bit more difficult. But, that being said, I don't think that he'll have anything that will be able to destroy my Fire-type. So, we should be good. Alright, bring it on, Alistair. For the second time, we're going to take you down. Alistair has five Pokemon as well. Dusk Noir. I do love Dusk Noir. It was such a cool evolution. I was very happy with a lot of Gen 4 evolutions of Mons that sort of needed a little bit more love, which was good. Under pressure. Okay. Um... Let's see how much Snarl does against this Dust Noir. Oh wow, that does nothing. Special attack though, which is good. Uh, Rock Tomb, that's not going to be good for us. It's it's still not super effective though, so that's cool. Speed fell, nasty. Uh, flame Charge, I guess, so we can get that Stab Fire attack. Another Rock Tomb, nasty. Again. Boom. Oh, full restore, eh? Okay, we're going to be very fast, so we'll outspeed everything, which is very good. Speed Rose. That wasn't even a crit. That was just a high roll. Holy moly, we should be fine. Ah, oh, are you serious? Missed the attack? Come on, Cinderace. You had one job. Oh, that was a crit. That's nasty. Speed fell, but we should still be faster than it. Pyro Ball. Boop. 
Bip. Boom. Down goes Dust Noir. And we can switch out because I don't want to stay in with Cinderace being so low. Uh, what's he going to send out? Uh, Cursor. Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, there we go. Age of Slash has Night Slash, so that'll be good. It should be strong with the slashing moves. It even has it in his name. He's the master of slashing. Send out Cursor. And then we hit it with Night Slash. Stance change. Between. And let's go. No, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Unless this thing has like Fire Blast or something like that, I think I should be able to survive. Even a Flamethrower or something. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Okay, this is going to be super effective. Boom. Oh! No! Oh my god! I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Alright, well we lost a team member. That is not nice at all. Not nice at all. Okay. Um, well in that case, let's just moonblast everything. And hopefully we can uh, <laughs> not lose anyone else. That would be nice. Oh, it's not very effective. Will-O-Wisp, are you serious? Now we're burnt. Great. Okay, well in that case, let's switch out. Let's switch out to... Batascuda. Okay. I can't believe that, man. I can't believe we lost Aegis Slash. Shadow Ball. Oh my god. Are you serious? How? That's ridiculous, man. We better hope we get this one on this shot. Because otherwise, we're gonna die. Super effective. Down goes Chandelure. Oh man, that sucks. We lost Age Slash. This is, this is not good at all. Okay, Trevenant. Um, Poltergeist. Switch Pokemon. I, I think we just have to fight fire with fire at the moment. There's not a lot of other options. So, we're going to have to send out something that's weak to the, uh, weak to the uh, enemy. Um, but also strong against the enemy as well. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can outspeed most of these. We're going to go Max Phantasm. We've got two Pokemon to destroy. Uh, one of which is the Poltergeist and the second of which is Gengar. Gigantamax form. This is this is going to be a difficult one. Okay. I, I'm less concerned about uh, the next match where I just have the, the Dragon type because I feel like that's going to be easier to destroy with the uh, Fairy type. And we just have to worry about his... Uh, Geraladon. That's the only one. Okay, down goes Poltergeist. That one was easy. Didn't have any worries about that. Um, it's the next one. This one is going to be interesting. Um, we're staying in. Thank you very much. My very last Pokemon. How frightening. Alright. Please. Tell me the good news. Alright, Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. I'm worried. I'm worried. If we go first, I have a good chance. Please let me go first. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, okay, it didn't half health us, so that's good. Okay, what's that? Special defense fell? Oh, no. Oh, yes, okay, we got it. We got it. Alright, I'm happy now. I'm very happy. Good, good, good. Alright. So that means that we just have Raihan and then uh, we get on to the champion battle, which will be good. 
Um, so it, while I've been doing these battles, even though obviously I'll cut like just the battles is what we're doing, um, I'm probably not going to get like the whole thing done. Um, so let, let's just uh, get this part done. This one will be a little bit of a shorter episode, I reckon. And then the uh, finale against Eternatus and uh, the final champion battle, which would be good. Cool. Alright. Yes, thank you very much. And then Raihan is the last one. Oh, man. Okay, the uh, final battle before the champion. And we're going in there with one Pokemon down. So we don't have Aegislash anymore. So, I'm worried. The Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. What has he got for me? I... Like, I'm pretty sure it's just the Duraludon that I have to watch out for. Just with the Steel typing and everything. Um, does that make my Fairy types neutral? I'm pretty sure it makes them neutral then. Okay. Bring it on, Raihan. Torkoal. Cool. Sylveon. This isn't even a uh, Dragon type. Drought. Okay. Interesting. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Okay, well, I guess we just go for Moonblast. Do as much damage as we can. Good. It's not very effective, but that's fine. Okay, Major Pokemon Drowsy. That's cool. Let's send out Barascuda and see what we have to put up with. I'm going to use a fire. Oh my god, a solar beam? Please tell me. We'll outspeed this, which means we'll hide under what? Oh no. No. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Oh, how did I survive that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, use dive, hit underwater. I I should I should have died from that. Avoided the attack, thank god. It's better destroy it. <laughs> oh wow, I did not expect it to use solar beam. I that that was intense, man. So intense. Uh Gudra. Switch Pokemon please. Yes. Uh, switching over to Sylveon. Alright, please show me that we can destroy this guy. He's more of a challenge than what I thought. Gudra. Gudra looks very shiny. Not like shiny Pokemon shiny, just shiny as in reflective shiny. Um, Moonblast should destroy this thing in one go. Is this Water Dragon? I can never remember. I think it's maybe just Dragon. Do, 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 do. Alright, now it's raining. Interesting change of events. It was all about those weather changes. Okay, uh, Bite. Now, he is his full restore anyway. That doesn't really matter too much because we'll outspeed and then we'll use our attack and then we win. That's pretty much how it goes. Moonblast and goodbye, Gudra. You've been a good sport. Bam. Goodbye and up next. So, what does this guy have? He'll probably have Flygon, Duraludon, and I think there's one more. Flygon, Duraludon, and Terminator. That's the one. Okay, um, what do we have? Bug would be a terrible idea. I'm thinking maybe Barascuda? I, like, I'm just concerned because obviously we're so low health at the moment. That's the only thing. Uh, Turtonator. Okay, I'm hoping he puts up like a defense doesn't actually attack in this turn. Hyper Potion, use... Thank you. 
I haven't bought any potions or anything like that uh, since like the um, the third gym maybe so that's pretty crazy the start was a little bit slow as you guys know in the series but like it, it goes very fast after that all right have a taste of sunny day this thing was just going back and forth between all of the different weather conditions okay uh drill run there you go there's something that's super effective now shell trap great this is gonna hurt oh that's nasty um I'm hoping that he uses that again. <laughs> okay, Hyper Potion. I need to remember to stock up on some Hyper Potions, because otherwise this Leon battle is going to be so difficult, especially considering we're one Pokemon down. So, we'll see. Shell Trap didn't work. <laughs> and Drill Run to finish this thing off. Oh my god, he's just using Shell Trap all day long. So I'm thinking if we destroy this, it'll probably still be able to use Shell Trap. Let's see. Tornado fainted. Okay, maybe I won't be able to use Shell Trap. Good. Level 61. Flygon. Okay. Um, so now we're down to the final two. So I need to think what what's going to be good against the Steel type. I, I'm thinking maybe sending out Cinderace is the best idea for his final mom. Although, if we Gigan, uh, if we Dynamax now with Sylveon, we should be pretty, pretty safe, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to Dynamax with Sylveon, and then just try and go for as much damage as we can. Okay, Max Starfall. Boom. Get in the ball. And let's go. Sylveon, Dynamax time. Bam. Awesome. Alright. So, I know that the Flygon is just going to be gone in one hit. Oh, you Sandstorm. It actually managed to get off the Sandstorm. That's crazy. But, we need to see how the Duraludon, uh, or how we go against the Duraludon. So, that'll be interesting. Stream forward towards Sandstorm. Boom. Hit it hard, Flygon goes down, and now we just have one final obstacle. Oh, oh, that's right, we don't get rid of the Sandstorm. Sandstorm keeps on going, we're just able to uh, put another effect into the battlefield, making our Fairy-type moves a little bit stronger. Trevenant's level 66, which is fantastic. Get buffed by the Sandstorm, it's not bad. And then we have Duraludon. Okay, so now we just need to do as much damage as we can to this thing. Oh, bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Oh, this is not going to be nice. <laughs> Stops for a quick selfie. I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty then. He's got like a little star at the very top of him. I never noticed that before. Okay, Max Starfall. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, we one-shot it. Yes, okay. GG, awesome. So I guess uh, it's on to the champion battle. So we're going to cut to just before the champion battle when we walk out on the pitch and uh, then we get to see what we do from there. Um, and then we've got one final episode after this. That is insane. I've been waiting for this for so long. Alright. Thanks, Ryan. GG, good battle, dude. Okay, we are walking out onto the pitch for the final battle against Leon. Look at him just standing there waiting for us. This is so epic, man. Look at him. Smiling away, getting ready. Tense air on the pitch. See one has to lose after all. Someone has to lose. 
Who's it gonna be? It ain't gonna be me. I ain't gonna let him win. Good. Man, Charizard will crush you. Good luck. Have a look at how close this battle gets to starting. Look at the monitor. What is on the big screen? Alright, and this is where the story kicks back in. Hello there, Leon and Jax. Just letting you know. I think it's time I bought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. That just doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh my god. Damn. Alright, pillars to the sky from each of the stadiums. Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Alrighty, so now that we're uh, now that we're off of the pitch, I believe we have to go. Uh, where is it? The Hammerlock Stadium, and go to the power plant. So then we can go and uh, basically just shut this whole thing down. So that'll be the uh, final battle that we have is against Rose, Eternatus, and then the champion. And then and that's it. And then that's it. Then we're done. All right? So I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. The grand finale. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.